what's up you guys it's me Ethan tweeting see you can if another video of this Monterey Bay knives see all them that I picked up at Blade Show so funny story is that I had no intention of buying one at Blade Show I didn't know Sam's foot would be even legal I didn't really know anything about them going to Blade Show so you know I was buying my own business at the pit the pit is mostly uh, it's a event at the hotel after the Blade Show that where you just hang out with other people and makers and have drinks and talk about stuff so yeah and all of a sudden my Instagram goes off saying hey Go see Met, uh, go see MBK, go see Stanford for see all them, and everyone was mentioning me in the group chats and stuff, and I was like, okay, well, let me go and look for him and see how it is. So I saw him, met him, and then I asked, hey, can I see one? So it, he said, okay. And then after opening it up a little bit and, you know, playing around with it and stuff, I was like, okay, I gotta have one now. I was like, it's just simple looking, very minimal, just sleek, you know, just overall um, good looking, like there's no branding, no boarding anywhere the logos on the lock side but other than that I was just like hey, I mean I can I can carry this for you know going to places and office not an office but you know go to places that's somewhat fancy and carry this and you know it's not threading looking I would say but you know it fits my hands also good the the C the C line is coming. It's a longer blade. This is just a little bit under three inches. So so I pick it up, play around with it for like a minute or two, and I was like, "All right, here you go, Stanford. Take my money." So. The blade is maker cut. It is this is not the 154 cm model. I have sharpened it a couple of times. The sharpening is pretty good. Lock up is good as as well. One complaint I do kind of have about this knife is the pocket clip. Um, I'm going to see if they have the slotted because I do know they make a different pocket clip for this. So I'm going to try to see if I can get one for this knife. But that's my only complaint really is just the pocket clip. Um, sometimes it will get caught on and not slip into the jeans properly. But other than that, it's, it's good. Um, well, first, I, I noticed this until like the next morning or so. Um, with the blade, like right here, like you can see my fingernails getting um, catch on. It was much higher than that, much more noticeable. But after that sharpening, two times or so, it did, it. You purposely had to put the finger in there to get cut. But other than that, that's now it's fine. It is on washers. It is not on bearings. Um, Guess why I saw a lot of reviews on this knife, so you can go you can go watch the other reviews. I don't mind, but I just like this knife too. It's probably if I had to go on down a list, this is probably second, and the one up for this would be the, the Sabenza. But other than that, I just like how this looks. The dark wash, oh, um, acids, so wash the blade. This is a um, dark stone wash tie. This looks great, in my opinion.
so. But overall, I like this knife. Um, so. Other than that, guys, the other views talking about more the, the dimensions and all that stuff. I'm just giving you what I think. So, some of your reviews is true in my opinion, but oh well. Other than that, guys, have a great day, morning, night, evening. I don't know where you guys are. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one.